welcome to today's video where I am going to discuss helpful tips on how to live by the life lessons I mentioned in my last video. If you want to see these life lessons that I'm going to mention in this video in a little bit more depth, head to the last video that I put out last week and you will see them there. This is just going to be about helpful tips on how to live by those life lessons and I want to make this intro quick so let's just get into it. Number one, tips for living by money does not mean that you are going to be happy. Think about the things that make you happy that aren't particularly money. So for example, does a sunset make you happy? Does being around certain people make you happy? Think about things that make you happy that aren't money related and you might realise that you have loads of those now. So don't think that money is going to change those things. Second one, I'm probably going to mention this um, a few times throughout the video, but meditation is absolutely great. I use the Headspace app. There's loads of scientific evidence that meditation makes you happier generally. So again, it's a good place to start. Number two, tips for loving yourself first before you love anyone else. Now, there's absolutely loads for this. So I've literally narrowed it down to one as a good place to start because sometimes you can be overwhelmed with loads. And that one is do stuff on your own. Start to enjoy your own company because I spent all my time doing stuff with other people. You know, for example, going to the cinema, going for a walk, spending all my time with other people. And then I started to do things on my own and I realised that I actually loved my own company. And then when you get into a negative situation where you might not be happy, you will then remember, oh, those times where I was on my own and I was so much happier. Why won't I just go back to that situation? So I think, you know, having that independence to be able to do stuff on your own and to live life on your own will make you start to appreciate yourself and have a lot more self-worth in yourself because you'll realise that you don't actually need anybody else. I think that's really important. But like I said, there's absolutely loads for this. Number three, tips for setting boundaries. Well, I mean, this is a very me tip. And that is just make a list on your phone, somewhere where you can see it and you can actually refer to it. If you're that sort of person that gets themselves into, for example, relationships where their boundaries are crossed a lot, a good thing is literally to put them in notes on your phone, do three things that you just will not tolerate and be really self-disciplined to make sure that you stick to those three things that you will not tolerate. And if someone crosses that line, obviously just leave. Also, if you haven't been in a relationship before, which, you know, you might not have been, or you might not have realised, you know, in friendships, the sort of things you like and you don't like, just think about things that you wouldn't like. So think, think of ways that you would not like to be treated. Think of ways that, think of things that would probably upset you in terms of the way that you're being treated. I think that is a good place to start. Number four, Tips for living in the moment and respecting the process. I've got two tips. One is meditation. Again, that teaches you to really be present, as I mentioned previously. And the second one would be to think every single day of five things that you're grateful for right now. I've got into a really good habit of doing this. I write them down, I write them in my phone, I write them wherever I can, or I literally just think them. Five things, one could be, I'm breathing. You can start there and work your way up and it will teach you to actually be present as to what is going on now in your life. Number five, uh, this is something that I didn't go into a lot of detail about in the last video because it's something that I really struggle with and this is going to be tips for trying not to be perfect at everything because you will never get anything done. Now, this could be perfect girlfriend, perfect friend, perfect worker, perfect at a hobby that you've got, perfect at whatever it is. You need to realise that you don't actually have to be perfect at everything and sometimes just showing up is enough as long as you've done your best and shown up for that person, for that situation, you've been consistent. That is actually good enough for a lot of people. Also, when it comes to work-related things or goals and life, me and my sister always say, done is better than perfect. Now, I'm saying always say this because, like I said, I'm quite a big perfectionist. So, 
it's something that I'm learning. I've definitely got better at it, but just remember, done is better than perfect. Throwing you in another life lesson there. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.